Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Oh my golly my friends. Welcome to 2.0. Oh my goodness Inazuma is around the corner and of course as always I wanted to timestamp this within the whole ecosystem of Genshin in terms of the series that we're doing on our channel kind of keeping you guys up to, up to date on most things and if people ever want to find out or if I even want to go back and look at what this journey was like. I want to see what it was like to first step foot into Inazuma or 2.0, a whole new region, um, parts of it at least, um, and what the story was kind of like that leading us to such a big event. So here we are. Um, also, it is 8.30. I was waiting at 4 p.m., just waiting, and then it's four hours later and we're finally here. <laughs> but I'm a little gassed out, uh, but here we are. <laughs> Anyways, also... Uh, what's this all about? Did things change? Oh, okay, I guess. Oh, I guess I could just choose between Mondstadt, Leeway, or now Inazuma for to get my, like, nice... Okay, so we don't get more commissions. That's a little unfortunate. We just get... We can decide where we want to do them. Okay. <laughs> sure, all that. Also, we got plenty of new domains. We'll find that out, hopefully, in the future. But, for right now, let's get there. Get there. Go. So we left off with Bido. Ad Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, traveler? About traveling to Inazuma. Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage mm -hmm. to Inazuma. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with uh -oh. you. There you are. You're the traveler that Beidou will be taking to Inazuma, right? I've been waiting all day for you. <laughs> Uh, it seems our intel, God damn it! it seems our intel has arrived. The fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a head count, we can get underway. Captain Beto sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beto is the captain of our word. Nice. Of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. Mm. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Wow, thanks. Until we meet again. Ad Astra yeah. Abyssosk. Ad... Ad... <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. Yeah. We practically see each other every day. What to say? <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. I knew it! <laughs> ah! So there's another Catherine at Nina Zuma? No need to get all sappy now. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyun Stone Forest. Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. I'm so excited for the Electro Traveler, dude. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, wait. Oh, guys, I don't know if we're going to have to start chewing through story on story on story. If they're going to be like, hey, you could. You could do that. Or you go fucking good after those new domains. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I don't know what to do. Also, yes, this is the team I'm taking into Inazuma. Always doesn't hurt to take in some uh, a fantastic Shinsho. Uh, again, giving us a, a, also, I leveled him the hell up. So he's now hitting for like 3K with his swords, which I know is old news. But anyways, also I'm taking Ben in there just because Ben, it's fun to have, and I kind of like playing him. And of course, with there being a new Electro region at play, I am, of course, going with our boy Razor, who is my best boy. And someone would be like, Green, why have you stopped playing Eula? And it's like, well, maybe I just had incredible forth foresight. <laughs> foresight? I was like, I got it in the bag. Electro area? They probably can have Electro puzzles, right? Boom. Razor. And then you're like, but Grin, you also leveled up the main traveler uh, to 90, you weird freak. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, so we can mess with two types of characters. <laughs> um, again, I probably will be placing Bennett. I don't need as much healing as Bennett gives me. The attack buff is rather nice, though, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I probably will replace B Bennett uh, with Shinsho, just because I think Shinsho and the main traveler's alt are going to be great. And also, Bennett doesn't really make use of the energy recharge, which maybe possibly is what maybe the traveler gives us. Who knows? Who knows? Who could possibly... No. Dude, I had an energy drink at like four and it's done and it's like nine and I'm just like, oh, well, that was a waste. <laughs> I want to be now tired tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not even going to use it in like a good way. Bye though, my love! <sighs> Boom! Ah, you finally made it. All right. 
Well, we were, we were on your time, actually. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. Apologies, Captain! <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. I'm wondering why what Bido's gains from helping us. Cause it just seemed like she's kind of like, okay, we'll do that, you know. And it's like, why? <laughs> what do you? And again, she's one of the she's an electro wielder, so I bet she has some feelings about the whole happenings of of everything. <gasps> We're gonna see the boat go burn. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> there he is. Hmm. He man, if you have him. And you have him built for elemental mastery. He's gonna give such an elemental mastery or uh, elemental damage buff, which is so valuable in the future with with every character they've released thus far, or just even past and old characters. Kazuo is just a little nutty, a little nutty. Especially with that fucking weapon that they just gave. But also, there's not too many good like DPSs with single arm DPSs besides the like, kachings and such. Oh, look at it! It looks so good. Oh. Puts our little dinghy boat to shame. You have arrived. Oh, you braved the raging storms. Right, I thought they would animate that. I guess not. <laughs> There's like, yeah, you did it. <laughs> okay, shit. <sighs> it looks beautiful. So many tiny leaves. Oh, that's where Shao gets. Why the fuck are maple leaves here? It's kind of weird, but I guess it makes some sense. I'm just used to, like, you know, maple leaves being beside cold Canada weather, you know. I was about to say, are those my traveler shoes? <laughs> what is happening? I wouldn't put a pass in the game, but still. Those fucking ankles must be shot. <gasps> There's the good the dot. Ah. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Hmm. Oh, hi there. You were way too eager to see me. <laughs> I don't like it. So, you finally made it. Yeah. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Huh, was this, was this Bido's plan? Was her, like, job to come get me? Shush! You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Oh. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Huh. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Hmm. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlanders' sterling deeds at bay. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Thoma? Thomas? <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Thomas resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. Hmm. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. Nice. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Yeah. What do you call it? This, remember I seen Bio gives off the mom energy for sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh, right. Kazuha. Mm. Until mm. next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Look forward to seeing you again. Fair seas, Captain Beto. Bye-bye! Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, yeah. I meant that we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Um, okay then. I must say, like, man, really? <laughs> really? Hmm. Hmm. Fighting the violin, Fatui Harbingers, child shit, all this. And people are like, yeah, but they're like, the lower tier generals are <laughs> gonna wreck you. And it's like, right. <laughs> okay, well, fuck it. I'll just play your game, <laughs> I guess. Don't want to be rude or culturally insensitive. Hello? 
Please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. I wonder if you could just oh, hoof it. Except you, Toma. I bet you could just run to like a checkpoint and just you get done. You must be new here. Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. <laughs> we are here to trade wine and ore. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Currently, only members of the International Trade Association are authorized to engage in the import and export of goods. Do you have your trader's permits? Yes. Um, trader's uh, permits. We, uh... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are the entry papers, for your kind perusal. What? Uh. Ugh, take your time, no rush or anything! <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to retail. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on retail, there's a process you have to go through with them. People from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, Outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku Decree in force. Mm. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. My journey must go on. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. <laughs> now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency, responsible for growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um, you really haven't heard of it before? We are clueless, my guy. <gasps> ooh! Ooh! Okay, sorry guys, I wanted to do this. I want to put down a marker right here. Also, we got a bunch of new markers to put down. Hell yes, yeah. sorry, because that's a special uh, like pickup, basically. Oh, we got some cabbages or potatoes or something. Nice. Okay, okay. Guys, oh, look at it. What is that? What is that little twinkle in the, in the sky? Ooh, give me. And, oh, I want to go touch a stone to get my boy all electroed up. But yes, yes, this place looks really cool. Loving it, the aesthetic. Again, especially the things off in the distance. Like, what is that? Is that what I think it is? I want to explore, but I also want to do this quest. Oh, this is what we're supposed to do. Okay. Well, there's a thing over there. That's where the thing is. Let's talk to these people first. But let's go. I want to get my electro powers first. But sure, we'll see. Let's just, let's just stay the course. All right. <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency, both of you? Okay. The processing fee will be two million mora. Two million Ooh. for a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to 400,000 more a total. That's still quite expensive. I, I, I recently leveled up a lot of characters, really like running low on Mora. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? That's not how you haggle! <laughs> By all means, bargain the price down, but... Alright then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> Much obliged. Stu got a big peen? What's happening? Why is the dinner such a, like, $400 worth? <laughs> or whatever it's called, $400,000 worth. There's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around here! <laughs> I guess it's, uh, I think this is their way of being like, Hey, Ayaka really helps you the fuck out, so you better help the fuck out. Ayaka, essentially, help the hell out of Ayaka. I think it's about more than Mora. Reminds me of someone else's strange relationship with Mora. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's do that. It reminds me of someone else's strange relationship with Mora, Zhang Li, all that. <laughs> it's not as mind-boggling as you think. A processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. Mm -hmm. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and <sighs> needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their 
Exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Shitty people. <laughs> Shitty people, got it. That's blatant oppression against Outlanders. Yes, but when you're an Outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. Mm. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. Huh. So it's a trade association built by and for Outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for Outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. The Raiden Shogun feels further away than ever. <sighs> Like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. Mm. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Mm. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Wow! The Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought! <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. However, before we get there... Connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too! <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. Hmm. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. Hmm. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. <laughs> Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. The fixer works in mysterious way. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. Ones, like Here's child. the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. Sure thing! Okay! I want to go touch that statue and get it done. Oh, no, yeah, trade. President of the Trade Association. Alright, cool. The guy. Oh, hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. That hat looks ridiculous, my guy. But the bow tie is a nice touch, although it does look like it's melting. It doesn't matter. We heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is those Mora grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Mm. Uh, they impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Mm. Crystal Marrow? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. Our taxes will soon exceed our profits. Alrighty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like it's time for a detour. Let us go touch this statue all the way up here. And hopefully... We get access to our electric abilities if they don't gate it behind story progression, which they very well might do. Look at that, my dudes. We can go to those tippy top of those hills. <laughs> ah. Am I going to get stopped? No, it's letting me move on through. What's with the little uh, X on the map? I don't know. It's weird. Anyways. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Uh, it looks a little ominous. Looks like it's got a barrier around it. Not sure if that's how they always looked, because I haven't oh, like cracked one of these seals for in, like ages. <laughs> I've done it done it in ages, so we'll see. It looks like a kind of a weird, a weird monument. But this is the statue of the seven for the uh, the Electro Archon, the Eternity God. The world opened itself before those with noble hearts. Is that? Is that? What I think it is? <laughs> are we? Are we fucking? 
You know what I'm saying? Okay, do I gotta switch to my traveler guy and make make that a thing? Do one of these. Do one of these. Where is he? Where's this boy Just I put, one, brought to level 90? He's level 80 right now, but he's can go to 9 because he's maxed out basically. Oh, I gotta literally pick him and and yes. Okay, now touch it. Now, yeah, it is. Resonate with Electro. <laughs> Yeah, okay, super simple. <laughs> it's literally bop and bop. They don't make a big deal about it at all. Unlimited power, baby. Hell yes. Okay, so our E Lightning flash. is some badass kunai with a very short range. Hot damn. We'll make a video about him and all of his glory in vicious detail. But uh, for right now, basically what his talents are um, is his E. You basically put like this thing on that produces crystals and you get recharged. I don't want to go into too much, but basically this character is like a battery. It's badass. But one of the things that's even more badass is his alt, which I believe is on a pretty chill cooldown. Yeah, it's cooldown is 20 seconds. Uh, that takes you quite long. Regardless, its duration is 12 seconds um, and all that stuff. And also I think maybe within his constellations actually increase that to be like very low, low downtime. But I digress, uh, I'll make another video about going into this main traveler uh, character because I just think he deserves a video in its, in its own right because he just looks awesome and I plan on leveling his ass up, but I also have no idea how he kind of functions, which is going to be interesting. But yeah, anyways, uh, let's continue on with the quest uh, for, until we get to a point where we're like, alright. Although I'm at the point right now, honestly, like I, I like the story, but we got all this. Oh my god, that is a lot. Holy shit, that's a lot. We got bop and then bop and then whoo. I'm a little bit sad. I wish they would have given us like a like, hey, you got to Inazuma. Here's some cool clothes. Instead, it's like, no, you still rocking the weird tummy tummy situation. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, where do you source your guns? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. Hmm. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. What if I just kill you? What Trade secret. <laughs> got that? it. Can you reduce your price? <laughs> Are you even buying? What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. What a douche. Thomas is like, okay, guys, we're just gonna break his legs. All right, I, I hate to be the guy, but it's gonna happen. All right, it's like, what do you, what do you want? We're fucking, everyone goes out of business because this shithead. <laughs> Being a shithead. We're gonna kneecap him, okay, <laughs> and take his crystals and torture him until we find out where it is. It's probably not a very heroic thing, but hey, <laughs> all right. Werner was born in Mondstadt then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. I wonder, because I feel like at some point we're going to interact with a character that's pretty, like, in our face, and that's going to be the Archon. Because typically the Archons are like, who is this weirdo in my fucking town <laughs> causing mischief? Which is typically us. Um, I just don't know if it's him. Probably not. But maybe. Probably not, though. But we'll see. Maybe it's, she's just like, no, fuck off. I'm, I'm eternal. What are you maybe doing back <laughs> here? Okay. Time on your hands. Some would call that uh, a form of freedom. Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt, Mondstadt things. A dandelion wine, which should be nice on a day like this. Ooh. Mondstadt? Mm. You were talking about M Mondstadt. I got that. Was that? Was that what Goodness, you're... I can sense it now. <laughs> so familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Let the wind lead sounds more right. Ah, oh, my hometown, the home of freedom. Mm -hmm. How I long to go back and visit. I shouldn't give those away. Those are pain in the ass. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't uh, make me relive it anymore. My poor so heart can't take it. <laughs> What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging yeah. them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. Keijiro, it's him! That fuck. After him! Break his legs! Kneecap the son of a bitch. Follow him. Paimon, you saying shit is more of a noise <laughs> than anything. I need to hurry. Your voice is like a knife, and it slices straight through the air. <laughs> so, I would suggest chill the fuck out. Did I fail? <laughs> what is happening? Do I gotta do it again? Are you shitting me? I made noise? You're a stupid idiot. <laughs> okay. I gotta see her look at his dumb ass talk to people again. Fuck you. You're an asshole, Paimon. Paimon, if I could just kick you right in the teeth. Hard as fuck. 
just fucking eviscerate you. Just fucking gone. Like, fully gone. Like, not a doubt in anyone's mind that you're just fucking gone. In this specific moment of anger. I'm sorry, Paimon. <laughs> you're great, honestly. I just, it was a lot, and it was annoying, and I'm sitting here talking. Well, he's just fucking talking about bullshit tax nonsense. You telling me he can hear me yes, when them kids are jumping around? You're stupid. Line. <laughs> okay, I hate you. Okay. <laughs> Are you fucking shitting me? He's another man that appreciates what could he be the doing in a place like this. It looked like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why don't we take a look? The man has a very pointy beard. I can appreciate that, right? Give me this. Is this the money? Dig. This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. Guys, just thought of this. Hey, if you find a lady who's very similar to Paimon, you know, incredibly gluttonous and also uh, just incredibly uh, uh, vigorous when it comes to uh, in create, like getting money, essentially like a, you know, a fucking that person. Probably run. It's not good. Not good. Gr gluttony and also greed, not a great combo. <laughs> Some would say they're very echoes of the same thing. Uh-oh. Big yikes. But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. You're the one making a mockery of the rules, person. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? Yes, actually. I think, maybe. It just so happens that we found your little ledger, so now we're here to tell everyone all how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayers! Mm. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us! Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the Association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. So you think you can use this against me, do you? I it's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself- What do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? Oh, do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Of shame for his yeah. actions. What the fuck? So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Get killed. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does yeah. someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief. You've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. Oh, and you dare to utter the commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. In a bad direction. Gentlemen, fine. gentlemen, uh -huh. come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? <laughs> you never heard of the fixer? <laughs> context, Paimon, context. <laughs> Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. 
<laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... What? What? <laughs> um, perhaps you could show the, the young lady of our clan some courtesy. Gives her a, a fan. Lady of our clan some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan. The Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. Uh, no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned then. <sighs> Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. He's the one who found a way to turn things around. I like Toma. <sighs> if cool nothing character. else, That's fine. I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Uh, interesting, albeit odd. What do you call it? Man, uh, I don't know. I kind of get like, I get a little uh, fucking annoyed by this whole like pol politics shit where it's just like, it's anything more like we're dealing with the Fatui and yet we know they're shitter shitters, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're just like, what? <laughs> what? What? It's like, I don't know, just weird, just weird shit where, like, we know they're fucking bad people. Like, <laughs> we're really bad people. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. Yeah. They truly are rotten to the core. Disgusting. It's time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. Nice. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Dope. Keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. Hmm. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. Yay, hierarchy stuff. Uh, so as her attendant, are we helping you or her? You're asking the right questions. And to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. So when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. <laughs> She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Mm. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, yeah. it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage. It's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. Yeah. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I never offered to help. Ah... Uh. Hmm. It's a bit mean. That's an unexpected development. Yeah. Perhaps our sources were misleading. I have one goal here. To meet the Rigan the fucking god. Yes, of course. <laughs> I completely understand and as agreed. I shall help set that up for you. Huh. <sighs> Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Yeah, it's pretty nice. We feel a little down in the dumps now that we said no. Which, to be honest, kind of rude of us to be like, Fuck off! <laughs> which I guess kind of fair. Not such a bad guy, huh? There is one problem. Huh? What's up? Outlanders are unable to leave Raito. Oh, right! Oh, could that. I not have left this whole time? Wait, so did Toma forget that too? It must be the next part of his test. Oh, uh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing. All right, I guess we'll do that first. I was hoping that uh, maybe we couldn't have just like bit bend it, basically just ran straight forward. I uh, maybe not. Fuck out of my way! If you don't have a travel permit, 
this is as far as you'll get. Let me kill. Those are the rules. <laughs> Please. The guy. Kanjo commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to- Listen, all these people are fucking assholes. Anything that sucks. <laughs> Anything with people are the worst. <laughs> okay? I think they'd be like, yeah, everything's like, there's tyrants and shit that people would be like, oh yeah, we're all trying to like, you know, survive this lady's horrible rules. And said the fucking people are just mean. <laughs> well, at least the people I who are under Hiragi us. Shinsuke. Kanjo Commissioner and head of the Hiragi Clan. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me, and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. How many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the Overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? Hm. Exactly! Paimon thinks you make an excellent point. Mm. And. I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even beat one of their harbingers in a duel. The weakest one, yes. Is that true? Who is the weakest one? You heard about that too? Uh, yep. It's true, alright. Hmm. As I thought. Something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both is all. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Whether you might be so kind as to render your assistance to the Conjo Commission. Hmm. Oh, sure. No problem. Whatever you need, right? Time to run some errands Excellent. Again. Well then, you must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the mountaintops of Liyue. Uh -huh. Yep, we've Got got a few of those before. So, uh... Yes, bring me 300 Shinxin, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. What? Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? I think you're a couple uh, orders of magnitude off. Hmm? Too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? That sounds much more like it. 709 letters, to be precise. Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? I need to look into it uh, more first, yeah. That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> Shinsuku has no intention of letting us live whatever the guy. Paimon knew something just didn't seem right about him. Look at that woman. <gasps> Oh, the maid traveler, maybe don't infer so much from a glance. It's kind of like the you know, fucking bad idea shit, <laughs> you know? Like, she was so into me, I was like, no, <laughs> no, she just looked at you. <laughs> Let's relax, okay? Ooh, man, I like the air. I like the scenery a lot. I will say this part is, like, I get it, but it is kind of like, I just want to explore. Although, I don't know, maybe we could just fucking go, and I'm just being an idiot by being like, should we do some story to make you it make sense? Arrived. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. She's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would better serve him politically. Mm. But my heart is with Kamaji. Of course. <sighs> there isn't... Yeah, I don't mean, I'm not, I just, it's like the constant Japanese trope about being like, you're my fucking father's a dickhead. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Oh. I secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very arrogant sounding woman just a few days ago. Ooh. They seem to be discussing how to keep you here on Rito. Huh. In fact, it was the first time I had ever heard my father speak so respectfully to someone who wasn't the Shogun. It just so happens that a shipment of- I just wanna leave. Can I leave? Or is it gonna be like, no asshole. You can't, it's a barrier, you fuck. <laughs> oh shit. No, it's something else. My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Not as well as- Ooh, we'll there's treasure hoarders and shit. Stop it. You're hurting me. Some of this, this, this. Hey, you bastard. Stop it. Stop it. God, the fucking Jinchou man just did so much damage. It's wild. Hey, guess what? Some of this. Ooh, we finally get to hear Zack. Because, yeah, he's been, you know, a constant player. But look at this. Look at this. 
I'm not even using my alt as Razor. Oh, you're a different, you're a different person. You're a different boy. Love it, loving it. Oh, also, we already got our alt, baby. We can back to back this shit. Some of this, some of this, some of this. Oh, I shouldn't, I didn't time that one right. <laughs> also, some of this, some of this, some of this. Dash, and boom, go, 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 go. Electric, electric, all that. More electric. Oh, we got a bad bitch too. We got a big, more important guy. He's special. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, yep. <laughs> he's uh, he's probably special. Probably. You'd, yep, maybe. All that. <laughs> all right. Oh my boy, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Oh, it's always princesses and all this shit, not just normal commoners. Secret favorite, I lost it. <laughs> Are we good to explore the world now? We're finally on our own way again. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, I can't wait, but now I am, I, I'm going to get in the shower. Do I feel like greasy, feel like a mess. I've been sitting here all day, <laughs> just, just grinding, or waiting, not even grinding, just waiting. Uh, yes, tomorrow morning I'll jump in and play, and I wish to make some videos for you guys. Um, a lot of this stuff is incredibly simple, like unlocking the main traveler is as simple as just touching the walls <laughs> or touching a statue and being like, we're good, we're good. Cool. <laughs> okay, I guess. Regardless, I do want to make a video covering the main traveler and all of his like uh, bells and whistles and all these things. Also, um, just so much content that I can't wait to make. I am curious to see if you are able just to explore everything in an Izuma because I really want to get down over here. Uh, this part specifically to me is is big because this is where the new dungeon is and of course that's just big in its own right I just don't know if we'll be able to get down there But alas ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time Hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day I cannot wait to play more of this Thank you again for giving me a single second of your day and goodbye